Hello, I am Principal Staken, and today we are assessing Miss Katie, who is a teacher at my school. But I've had a, heard a lot of complaints from her students that she isn't teaching them anything. All she's doing is pushing her message on everyone. So we're going to be watching her presentation on the Will Smith Chris Rock incident, and we're going to see if she's actually talking about it because she cares about the subject, or is this just another way for her to push her message on everyone? Let's find out. So, as you can see here, we've got this piece of paper. It says that vegan teacher, and we have good and bad. We're going to give her a check mark if she does something right, and an X if she does anything wrong. Let's get into the assessment and see how well she does. Hello, everyone. Just getting my Hi. glove on here. I'm trying to walk over to my local coffee shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, while I'm walking, I'm going to chat with you a little bit about what happened uh, recently at the Academy Awards. Okay. And I'd like your What's opinion. a good start so far? I'd like you okay, to really yeah. think a little bit before you mouth off something in the comment section that makes no sense, though. Try to be. Okay then, so she's already just reading people's opinions, so that's an X right there. Morally consistent. Okay, but she always talks about being morally consistent, but does she ever think about the kids in China who made your computer and your phone and your clothes? Do you ever defend those? No, you only defend the animals. So she is a hypocrite, so I'm going to give her another X. And somebody named Will Smith decided to randomly attack who? a guy on stage who was a comedian and who was working. So, okay, Chris Rock, fair enough. working, his job is to tell jokes, whether they're good or bad, we don't know, but he's there to tell jokes. And the jokes that he's telling sometimes will offend people, because that's yes. what comedians do. They try to make fun yeah, of everybody. But no one would offend someone personally. Uh, people with pronouns. Check out my, like, my opinion on this in the comment, right in the description. People, I made a video about this. People. They make fun of different people in different countries, different yeah. accents. They make fun of everybody. That's their job. Some comedians suck. I agree. Yeah, yeah, we know what comedians are. Just, just get to the point. It's an X, you're going on too long. said something to the effect that uh, she could uh, perform in the next G.I. Jane movie, something with reference to her having a very short haircut. Now people will say, oh, but she has alopecia, and so therefore you have no right to make fun of her. That's true. Um, I agree with that. Why? The thing that really pisses me off about this is the fact that if Will and his wife were vegan, you would have called Chris Rock a vegan phobic. Like seriously, look what happened when Isaiah Butterfield suggested that vegan teacher might have saggy boobs. Let's just say that they were super saggy. What does that have to do with anything? What do other people who are in your life, other women, think about the way that you, you know, treat women as if they're objects in the same way that you treat animals as if they're objects? Or well, how about when he made fun of vegan booty's ass? You fucking Veggio Dirt Box. That is your name from now on, Tash. Or should I say Veggio Dirt Box? Veggio Dirt Box? Veggio Dirt... Why are you calling her that? If you don't know what a dirt box is, it's an ass. Anyway. Oh, it's an ass. You're calling her an ass? I have a feeling you're trying to be mean on purpose. Give you an X for that. No, that's not nice. You know, that's vegan phobic. I'm making fun of a disease is a lot worse than making fun of body parts. How about the time Poncho called you a stalker in his title? Carly D'Amelio is being stalked by you know who, and here's a picture of me. So Poncho, who doesn't want to get a strike against him, he already got a strike against him for lying and for basically abusing the YouTube rules. He doesn't want to get a strike against him, and yet he right there deliberately accuses me of stalking somebody. Yeah, but it's clearly just clickbait, though. Okay, you're, imagine this, okay? You're a random person, you never heard of that vegan teacher. You're scrolling along, and you see that vegan teacher is stalking somebody. And you just keep strolling. But that's the only thing you remember in your head, is that she is a stalker. And then the next time somebody says something about that vegan teacher, the person's going to say, Oh yeah, I heard she was a stalker. What are you talking about? It says you know who, not vegan teacher. So if people don't know who you are, they're not going to know who vegan teacher is. You idiot. That rant went on for 12 minutes. Not only that, but she goes around and says the N-word like it's nothing and saying we should normalize it and not give it so much power. Like, that is messed up. Does this girl seem to you like she might be naturally intelligent, gorgeous? The point that I'm trying to make is that vegan teacher says you shouldn't let words affect you or give words power, but when they affect you and other vegans, then you care. So imagine that you're at work randomly and somebody uh, says something um, that, you, that somebody doesn't like and you're standing there in the office and suddenly somebody just goes up 
to that other person and just smacks him on the side of the head. What do you think would happen if that happened in your workplace? Probably jail time, I don't know. Would everybody just stand up and give a standing ovation like Probably. they did at the Academy Awards? Depends really? on the circumstance. And how would you feel if you were the victim of that but attack? Maybe, it could, it could happen. Now, did he hit him because he thinks he's like on equal terms with him? Like, oh, we're both black, so we can like hit each what other? What the, why are you black bringing black race, it's like 4Xs right there. What the and fuck? Did he hit him how can you bring race into him? this? Would you have hit what? him if he was bigger? What if the person oh, what, telling the joke was a woman, would he have walked up on stage to a female comedian, a comedian and smacked her on the side of the head? I don't and know. And everybody would have what, given a standing ovation? No idea. It's I've got no ridiculous. idea. Maybe. Our society has gone insane. Violence yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken. The society has gone not insane. Not against humans and not against animals. Here we go. She's now just pressing her message. Yeah. Uh, it's not there for many of you. Even those of you who are in the comment section, well, for once I agree with you. Don't learn about moral oh, consistency really? again. Another X. Then you understand veganism. No, X. The animals are doing. The pigs, the chickens, the cows, all of these animals that are. Yeah, but we're doing it for food though, we're not just doing it for no reason. I think we've had enough of this video now, we're going to look at the video where she responds to comments and hopefully she's civil about this, but let's, let's see. Are you vegan yet? Oh my god, that's an X right there, what the fuck. Already pushing a message on us. Let's skip ahead. Okay. So what you're doing is telling people to do something unnatural and stop eating food they should be eating. Okay. Yeah, shush. No one cares. Shut the fuck up. What you, how long does this go for? This is too long. That's another X. put up on Twitter. So I put two of them here and I had asked people to respond to them. So my question is, answer the three questions in the first paragraph. But let's look okay. at the first post that I put because they're both Okay, there. that's the second post. But so okay. I wrote here, Chris oh, Rock no, and Will Smith car, should be vegan from whatever. now on. Don't like violence. Don't inflict it on innocent animals. Don't f*** them into existence. Don't enslave them. Don't murder them. Be morally consistent. Be brave. And be vegan. Now. Uh, what? So hang on. So that she's telling us to be ve- What? So she's basically just made a post you know, talking about stuff, and then at the end it says be vegan, even though it has nothing to do with being vegan. So I'm gonna have to give another X for that. What the fuck? So, this video is how long? Like, like two minutes and a half so far? She's talked for 30 seconds and the rest has just been her songs about, about, about being vegan. So you're pushing a message on people again. That's another X. Carrots and hummus, they go together, sing this song. No, I won't be vegan from now on. Thank you. All right, so I asked people to respond to the first three questions. So I'm just going to grab a pen here and I'm going to point to them. So we have one here. Okay, you're filming a screen what instead of screen Smith recording. Chris That's Rock another X. Woman. That's the first question. What if he was white? That's the second question. What if he was bigger than white? What the, f That's why, the third why question. are you bringing in so race let's see how many and gender? That's another X. Responded and tried to answer the question. I can't believe she what? found a way to plug veganism with this situation. So did okay. this person answer any of these questions? Who cares? No. What? Why do you think that is? Why does that matter? X. That was the assignment. Assignment? So this is not an assignment, right it's, like, it's a post. Is, not an assignment, not an X. The assignment. You didn't answer the questions. All you what did is the write fuck are you talking about? Irrelevant, which shows that you didn't actually completely read irrelevant. No, it's pretty what relevant, actually. Here? Can't believe she's still talking about Chris Rock getting slapped. Again, this person is not responding. The questions are Who cares? These are comments, and not every comment responds to what you're asking. X. I know, right? Just check to see if this channel even uploaded still. Every day, mate. It's every worse. day. Okay, so none of True. these people are able to respond to the comments. And of course, the reason is because people who eat too much meat obviously cannot think clearly. <laughs> what is she talking about? If anything, it's the vegans that can't think clearly because they just go around thinking they didn't make any difference, but really they're just causing havoc and chaos and they end up just pissing people off and then people laugh at it and make videos like this one about her. Well, I do want to be vegan for personal reasons, but please don't shove it to others. Let people be who they want to be. Okay. So if you that's agree reasonable. with that, then I guess that you're okay with 
hurting women. Oh my god, far out. Always goes down this path, doesn't it? Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. That's like in the legs. The vegan door. What the hell? Well, my neighbor's not vegan, so I guess I guess I don't have to be Again, vegan. Again, this person did not respond. They said, I want to be vegan for personal reasons. That means what? You want to eat more plants because you care about yourself only? We are here to care about others. What? The victims of this planet who are the animals. What, 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 well, where are you going with this? like conditions right now. It's not about you and your personal reasons. That's not being vegan. That's just you eating more plants. What? Hang on, hang on. So she's saying that if you eat a vegan diet, but you don't go out of your way to, to be a menace and tell people why they need to be vegan, then you're not a vegan? What the fuck? Hang on, let's, let's, just, let's just Google definition of, of a vegan. Hang on a second. Here's the definition of veganism. The practice of eating only food not derived from animals and typically of avoiding the use of other animal products. There you go. So it's all about dietary and not using animal products. It's got nothing to do about the reasons why, the reasons why are irrelevant. It could be health reasons. It could be for the environment. It doesn't have to be about the animals. That person's still a vegan, so shut your fucking mouth before I shut it for you. Vegan oh my god! Now there's Charlotte Webb. Jesus Christ, man, every two seconds there's a, there's a fucking song. Oops, oh, I better not like that by accident. Why not? Why wouldn't you like that? It was a good comment. We need more people like you. Oh, really? So, Gold Joni, if this person decided to hurt someone that you love, you would be okay with it because, hey, don't shove your opinions on others. That's not the Let same thing, though, is it? X. Again, another hypocrite who is unable to answer the very simple questions here. How many times are you going to go up and try this again? That's another X. Go veg yourself. Stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Go, go veg, veg yourself. yourself. Go veg yourself. Oh, is that like derogatory or some shit? Oh my Check god, another song. Yeah, that's Check another X. How about you actually respond to what I am saying here? Don't like- Because what you're saying is bullshit. You're bringing up all these other scenarios that it's just like it happened in the way that it happened. And now you're saying, what if this, what if that? You know, like if my dad had a vagina, he would be my mum. So. What you're saying is fucking bullshit. Somebody literally walked up to an unarmed black man and smacked him. Where's the outrage? Oh my god. Okay, for one thing, the outrage happens when it's a hate crime. That wasn't a hate crime. And even if Will Smith was white, it still wouldn't have been a hate crime. Oh, for fuck's sake with this woman, I can't, I can't deal with her. You don't have when it comes to pathetic acts of violence. Considering what you said about Ukrainians suffering. Oh, what did I say exactly? That I don't want them to suffer? You, you said that it was the same as eating meat. Just be happy Will Smith didn't slap a mongoose or whatever. Alright, so I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking <laughs> that's about hilarious. here. Because you're about standing up for animals. And that's why they're making their comparison. Because you would go crazy. This was an animal, even worse than what you're doing right now. Even though they Why do they put animals in prison for having committed no crimes? Why do they attack How are they in them prison? with knives and bullets? They're not, they're not. You need to strive to be morally consistent. JB111082. So let's Christ. see the responses to that. She's insane. Okay. I can't believe this I implode this woman, honestly. Uneducated or immoral. And again, another one. Who says, who has an account called Save Bella the Dog. So this person wants me to save my dog Bella, who is perfectly happy from being vegan because you're mistreating your dog, and you deny it and say bullshit like, "Oh, she's bed. so healthy, she can this play with other dogs." How, it proves how nothing. Likely, do you think it is that this hypocrite pays people to eat animals and then there are actual dead bodies inside this person right now? Very likely. But it's a dog, you, though, not a cow, so it's that different. That was so unnecessary and uncalled for. Do we think that this person is talking about what Will did, or my comment? If it's it could about be either, Will, really, I agree. Because what both Will are uncalled did was for. Unnecessary and uncalled for. Well, let's continue reading. Will Smith and Chris Rock's situation at the Oscars don't have abs don't have absolutely nothing to do with veganism. 
Um, That's yes, true. They do. They don't. We what? Just How? Established that they are act that they are in a violent situation. Oh my God! How many times are you can go back up here and violence? show this? And if he doesn't want Piss violence, off. or Chris doesn't on the planet because he did try make an attempt to apologize, then neither of these people should be paying people to be violent Are you serious? Animals. How is slapping someone in the face the same as eating a hamburger? They're just not the same thing. some other innocent animal? Chris Rock has feelings. So do the chickens, pigs and cows that you all eat. Will Smith had no right to hit Chris Rock and he should have been arrested for what he did. This is so and fucking Rock cringe. should also, if he didn't like being hit, if he doesn't like violence, he should be vegan from now on. Stop paying for murder. Stop Fuck paying for the torture off, of innocent Karen. people. Both of these men have a moral obligation to be vegan. No, they don't. Eating meat is part of being human. Like you said, words are air. They just pass by, just like yours. Okay? Well, I'm here to try to make a difference. Then they world, don't, don't vote sometimes. Here, words can affect people just as much as violence. Only that vegan teacher, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Not yep, sure what that's you mean true. By that. Good on you. It has been my experience that words cut deeper and leave worse scars than physical violence That's does. what I just really? said. There we go. Thank you. I mean, it, it depends on how much you, you let the words affect you. Oh, fuck. I think if you let words affect you, then they can affect you a lot more when someone hits you. Because, you know, you get hit and then the pain goes away. But when someone says something, that can leave an impact on you for a lot longer. Are you an animal right now in a factory farm? What does that have to do with anything? Do you have any what? idea how privileged you sound? What the fuck? What? what? How is that privileged? How is that even a privilege to just say? If anything, being a vegan is a privilege. Do you think people that are starving and are homeless are worried about whether or not they're vegan? Absolutely not. What the fuck are you on about? Words are just words. They don't torture you. They don't cut you. They don't make how you How do you know? People, people get affected by words. They don't terrify you and end your life. They're just words. Just let them wow. go past you. Well, they can't end your life because if people bully you enough and then you commit suicide, then the words ended your life. Run, run, oh, run God, from the fuck human. Is this? They're trying to stab you. It's They're trying pig. to murder you. To call you bacon and burn you in a frying pan. What the hell? Okay. That was cringe. If a good slap across X. the face is what it takes to teach people to mind their mouths, then slap them. Really? So if Fair I don't enough. like your words, I can come up to you, city boy, and slap you right now? Because I don't particularly like these words. You're saying it's okay? I don't think so. I think you're being a massive hypocrite. <laughs> Just Fuck wanted sake. to put this out there. And she Bill called Smith other made a public hypocrites. apology to Chris addressing the slapping situation. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. He no, apologized it's not. much too late. And How the is audience it too late? Too it's never too late to, to apologize. He was angry, right? You're not going to be sorry immediately. You're going to calm down, and then you're going to, then you're going to be like, "Oh, sorry, I did that." There's Bart Simpson. What does he have to do with veganism? Bart loves meat and pizza, and so did Lisa. What the fuck is that? Oh my God! What is that? What was that? What the heck is it related oh, to the Oscars not channel? Right. Girl, you can't just make everything relatable like that. Why can't you just is. answer my questions? It has everything to do with it. Equal rights, equal fights. No, it doesn't. What that means. That's another egg. She's still arguing I really agree point. with you now. Okay, thank you, Minnie. Oh, he gave you a like. Oh. I can say with certainty that Smith would smack TVT in the face a hundred times more harder. Okay, well, at least you answered the question. So you think what? that Will Smith would then smack a woman? Who's TVT? So you think he's that despicable that not only would he hit a man, he would also hit a woman. Okay, well, at least we know where you stand. Oh my God, how many songs are there? This is like worse than getting Rickrolled. Oh, the X. Actually, that's three. What did his... What did... Wait, Will did that for his wife, and he's to blame? He didn't do anything for his wife. His wife is the girl yeah. who's just sitting there. They're just words. But she was upset, though. Words in the room. Do you know how many people have insulted me about my physical appearance? Imagine if I went out into the world. Okay, I, I don't mean to be mean, but you do look very unhealthy. I think it must be the vegan diet that's doing that, really. I'm 
for you being vegan, but don't shove the idea down people's throats. Okay, I'll stop as soon as you stop shoving Good your comment. knife down animals' throats. What? <laughs> run, run, run. We're not, though. We are not doing that. It's the people that, on the farms that do that. We just buy it. We're not, we're not stamping. We're not, we're not killing the animals, you fucking goose. Run from humans. Oh, fuck Burn. off. Gamer, another hypocrite. Yeah, and she calls everyone else a hypocrite, and you're the true hypocrite. Just yeah. Because I'm defending animals. This is a perfect example of vegan phobia. Vegan phobia is wrong. This person just feels <laughs> guilty. Is, vegan phobia is not even a real they thing. They know they're a coward, and they cannot control themselves and stop eating animals. Thomas, you need to be tougher. You need to be a, as brave as I am, and get out there and defend animals. Being a, a being a vegan is not about bravery, it's about choice. To, how do I go vegan? Oh my god, another Sing song. X. How do I go vegan? Com. Sing it again. How do I go vegan? Com. Sing it with me. How do I go vegan? Com. I mean, why do you need a tutorial on how to go vegan? It's just stop reading animal products. Read. It's not that hard. There are, but we simply don't have the time. I just choose not to. So feel free to comment under this video if you like, if you want to add something, or if you want to actually try to answer these questions. Thank you to everybody who is being as vegan as possible. Thank you so much. If you enjoy this channel, subscribe. Hang on, so, so, so you're not okay with people being a vegan without defeating the animals, but you are okay with people that are doing their best to be vegan? What the fuck? To it, press the notification bell and help me get the Ew, animals what is out that? of hell. Is that a pizza? On screen, Did you ruin pizza? Eggs! Click on them. Be curious. Have a look around that vegan teacher's site. There are so many videos to choose from. I also show different vegan recipes. I go to a Facebook group called What Broke Vegans Eat. No one cares. And I Shut review up. What you... animal abusers and animal defenders. Thanks for being here. <sighs> Bye for now. Let's hold that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save Fuck off. I am not subscribing because she is a bitch and I don't like her. And it's not because of her message. She's just a horrible person. Oh uh, god, what a video. I don't, I don't know why I employed this woman. She is obviously a horrible person. I'm gonna get one more chance and I'm gonna review her again next week. Miss Katie, you failed this assignment very badly. I'm disappointed about you, but I'll be back in a week to assess you and if you still can't change your attitude, I'm gonna fire you.